Hi, Lori here with your first Soul Self Check mini workshop for 2021. So it's the first week of the new year and I'm sure your resolutions list is close at hand because you wanna make sure you get off on the right foot. New year, new you. And becoming that new year might include things like losing the weight that you gained during 2020, you know, reconnecting with friends you might have um, gotten lost with um, while we were in quarantine and isolation. It could be learning a new language. It could be, you know, making a list of all the things that you want to do that you didn't get to do when we were so restricted about where we could go, what we could do, and who we could see. So yeah, lots of things to do in 2021. But I am inviting you to level up and rethink your New Year's resolutions. And instead of thinking about what you want to do, to resolve who you want to be in 2021. Why is this important? Because, you know, a lot of the indecision, the self-doubt, the confusion, the inability to trust ourselves has everything to do with not knowing who we are or what we want. So why not make 2021 the year of self-definition? So how do we start? Well, first of all, you've got to decide who you want to be in 2021. Who do you want to become? And that's largely based on what your true values and, and, and goals are. Do you want to be a person who's open to giving and receiving love? Do you want to be a person who finds their mission and purpose and works it? Do you want to be the kind of person that lives a passionate life that is inclusive of not only the things that you love to do, but the people that you love to do it with? Who do you want to be? And once you kind of have an idea of who you want to be, then focus on why you want to be that person. What value and benefits to your life will being that person bring? Being more open to giving and receiving love? Is the value there that you know that what you give you will also receive? That whatever energy you are, you will attract the same? Will that expand and give balance to your life? Why? When you focus on the why, it gives you intent and it gives you motivation. Don't worry about the how you're gonna become that person. Focus on the why. With knowing the why, the how becomes clear. The next, make a to-do list to support that person you are becoming and include one or two baby steps that you can commit to, to being that person. Maybe it's just finding out what are the things that I like about my life? What are the things that I love about my life? And how much of those things do I like are things I like because other people like to do it? And how, many, how about the things that I love? How much do I do that and bring that into my life? and live it based on my own terms. Knowing who you are and what you want changes everything. So, level up that mindset. Decide who you want to be and support that person. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight but it's something that will be a slow change in the beginning. And as you get into it, the hows are gonna open up. You're gonna get clarity about who you are and what you want. And then the ball just keeps on rolling towards not the new you, but the true you. So with that in mind, always remember you are loved and you are loved. So act like you know it.